Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Paige Campbell Show, episode five. Uh, episode five, Noah, The Empire Strikes Back. Nice, nice. Today we have Noah Clark. Hello. Um, Noah, you went to uh, New Orleans. Yes. You went on a trip to New Orleans. How was that? Vacation. Vacation, yeah. Um, it was good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Ate a lot of good food while I was Oh, uh, yeah. There. The food in New Orleans is the best. I went two summers, maybe last summer. I went a while ago, and yeah, the food's the best. What food did you eat? Uh, a lot of oysters. Yeah. I ate at least two or three dozen, I want to say. Um, yeah. Po boys. They had some good po boys. Oh, yeah. There. I don't know that I've had that. Really? Yeah. Crawfish, cray daddies. Cray Jeff, dads, oh, yeah. I had some of that. Those, those were the best. That's good. Mini uh, lobsters, I mean. Yeah. What else? Shrimp. There's a gumbo. Shrimp. Did a you gumbo? have a, Oh, yeah. Gumbo's good. Did you have any um, red beans and rice? I did not. Oh, man. You got to have not. that. The red beans and rice there. How about uh, beignets? Yeah, those oh, are amazing. Man. Those oh are great, gosh. yeah. Fried dough covered in uh, powdered sugar. Yeah, I mean, how could that not, not be good? I don't see a way really it good. couldn't be good. Yeah. So did you do anything uh, interesting in New Orleans? Or just on your vacation in general? Because you didn't just go to New Orleans. Um, yeah, I, I mean, we stopped in um, stopped in Tennessee. Hit a few places there. Mm-hmm. We did Rock City. In, um, I guess it's in Chattanooga, technically. Yeah, Have you been there? I've... Is that like the big cave or something? Yeah, I mean, there's like a waterfall. And yeah, it's yeah. Pretty cool. pretty cool place. That's sweet. I like that. And um, I don't know. This is just a adventure, I guess. Not really I like that. specific. It's pretty anything cool. in New Orleans? Um, I mean, we walked around yeah. um, Bourbon Street. Oh, yeah. Bourbon nice Street. Nice place to go at night. It is. Um, no, we went, we went, when we went to New Orleans, we went on Bourbon Street for like five minutes at night <laughs> and then we left. It was two. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. It's a good, it's a good place. It is. It's so. a nice street, Bourbon Street. Bourbon um, sa- sauce. Yeah. Or, uh, a lot of good food. Bourbon and... chicken. It's Chinese. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. They make it in the uh, mall. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Um, you, you were saying, you were telling me about Master Chief. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you saw Master Chief? So when we were in um, Knoxville, we went to the World's Fair, mm-hmm. or I guess the grounds of it. They don't really have it there anymore, I don't think. Um, but there's this big, like, uh, building thing. And I think they were having a Comic-Con there. Oh, yeah, I like that. Sometime around when we were there. Yeah. And uh, got a pick with Master Chief. It was uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice time. Dude, that's awesome, yeah. I, there, I would love to meet There was also, Chief. I think there was... Um, this new game's coming out. That's what I've heard. Sometime in 2015. I guess we'll hear about that at E3. We'll hear about that on Monday in All E3. Right. This is our E3 predictions episode. Um, if you don't know what E3 is, it's the Electronic Entertainment Expo. Um, it's a huge uh, show where they show off uh, all the biggest games of the games industry, uh, show off their biggest games that they're going to release. Um, so we're going to do our predictions here. Um, the uh, E3 kicks off on Monday starting with Microsoft's press conference. Mm-hmm. And then it goes like EA, <coughs> Ubisoft, someone else, and then Sony, like bookends. It bookends the big two. And then the next day is Nintendo, which is what I'm excited about. I love Nintendo. Um, but yeah, we're going to do predictions. I think we're going to break up the predictions into four parts, basically. We're going to predict two or three things about Sony, two or three things about Microsoft, two or three things about Nintendo, and then just third parties, you know, Ubisoft, EA, whatever you want to talk about. All right, sounds Rockstar. good. Sounds good. Yeah, um, you want to give us a little intro music for the? I uh, uh, would love for to. the predictions. Let me find. Um... Mm. These are our E3 predictions. I think we're going to start things off with Microsoft, Noah. Um, All right. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? Uh, I don't I, I don't care. Um, thing is, like, last E3, you know, we, we had the announcements of all the, the new systems, right? The but, new consoles, yeah. So, um, I don't know. What is what, what's, what, it, what can we expect from this year that besides, you know, a bunch of games that we've already... Pretty much have been announced. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously every year surprises at E3, like games we knew nothing about. That's true. Um, Microsoft recently announced that, you know, to keep up with the PS4, because they're not uh, 
they're, it's not the Xbox One's not selling bad, but compared to the PS4, like the PS4 is yeah. destroying it. Um, they announced they're taking the Connect out, and it'll be four hundred dollars. So hmm. it's basically a Microsoft PS4 now. Yeah. That the difference really was the Connect, the yeah. huge difference. So I think they're gonna really hit hard on that, the price drop and the Connectless Xbox One. I think they're gonna talk about Some that business for business strategies. Yeah. Um, Microsoft always focuses pretty heavily on uh, Call of Duty at their conference. Yeah, Call of Duty. There's obviously the Advanced Warfare coming yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, that's their audience. That's and, um, Microsoft's audience. Um, their new you know, Halo. The shooters. probably going to be some about that. The new Halo, I'm sure, will get more. They gave it a name two or three months ago. Oh, yeah. Did, have you heard of the I name? I, I heard it, but I forgot what it was. It's Halo 5 something. It oh, is cool. a numbered. It is the fifth yeah. installment. It's not just, you know, like an extra like odds or whatever yeah. it's it's the fifth installment um but yeah i'm interested to see about the new halo um one thing that's key to note is this is a prediction and you can make outlandish predictions yeah. things that might not happen um i think the 15th anniversary of like halo 2 is coming up hmm. so i think they're gonna start the show i think they're gonna bookend it with starting with halo and ending with halo i think they're gonna end with the new halo and i think they're gonna come out in the beginning with a collection of the first four halos for the xbox i, I think i heard about that yeah i don't know it's not been confirmed like but I hd I've, collection yeah like an hd collection especially halo 2 the uh, multiplayer is like the biggest fps multiplayer yeah like ever so um but yeah there's some interesting stuff i think they're gonna touch more a little bit on sunset overdrive oh yeah that They're looks like, kind of cool yeah it looks pretty cool it's insomniac i mean insomniac yeah it, makes i was kind of bummed out that i think that's their first um xbox exclusive isn't it it is um i heard that basically what happened with insomniac is they keep making these amazing games and then not having the rights to it yeah like they made uh spyro and then spyro got sold because they didn't Activity. own the rights they made um what was that shooter they made uh resistance oh yeah that was a yeah. they made three of those and the resistance games were great but they didn't have the rights to that so they don't so basically they got microsoft to fund this and the deal was this will be an exclusive on your console if we own it this Classic is our ip yeah this is our ip so finally insomniac has their own ip yeah but i don't think they'll touch huge on i yeah, think probably do like sunset overdrive but it. i'm sure like new trailer i'm sure yeah. it'll be playable on the show floor i saw um just last night, a trailer for, uh, and I know how you feel about fighters, but I, I saw a trailer for the new Mortal Kombat. Oh, I saw Mortal that, Kombat yeah. X. Mortal I think Kombat it looks X. pretty. It looks pretty cool. I it think. looks cool. Like, I mean, the thing is about fighters. I don't like fighters personally, yeah. but I totally like. I think they're cool, and I totally respect people that are good at them. I mm -hmm. just, I can't get into it. It takes too much like devotion to one game. But I don't. I don't think that's um, Microsoft exclusive. So. I don't think it is, but I'm sure they the probably will show probably it. Show a trailer. They uh, they'll probably have like a reel of all the third party shows they're doing or games that they're gonna have. You yeah. know what I mean? Like a like minute and forty seconds of like you know little footage of not exclusives, but all the games that yeah. are coming. I can't really think of other. Um, maybe some something they haven't announced is coming out. You know, probably, yeah. there's Gears, Gears of I, War. Yeah, I thought I heard um, somebody suggest like think that you know maybe there's a new gears coming but a new gears has not been announced but i wouldn't be surprised if they, if they came out and said while, hasn't it? um yeah it's been you know last one was on the 360 now there's this new 400 dollar, 500 dollar. really mm -hmm. it's it's gonna be 400 dollars, but brick so yeah yeah I, I gears um maybe they'll come out with a new fable yeah you know probably. i'm sure they'll have something like that because they need something to sell their console you know what yeah. i mean um, probably, you know, new exclusive that we're not expecting, but Microsoft, uh, doesn't have any exclusives, honestly. Yeah. Not, nothing that beats, um, Nintendo or Sony in oh, my yeah. opinion. Nothing. Um, that's, yeah, let's get into Sony, I guess. Sony? Cause that's, right. I, I don't have anything else to say yeah. about what? Yeah. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't have anything else to say about Microsoft. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Last year, Microsoft had a good conference. But yeah. Are you going to watch the conferences? I, I'm going to try to. Yeah. Online, you, you should come over yeah that's I what we i mean we'd have a party yeah we could have a party that'd be cool yeah. um i usually like i watch them offline too i don't have a channel like i guess g4 is not a game channel anymore is it i don't think so yeah we but show cops and cheaters as far as i yeah know. cops and cheaters <laughs> um cheaters interesting show good show good show no but um yeah, I, I stream them off IGN, but I can plug my computer into the yeah, TV. Yeah, so I don't have a cord for that. So. I usually stream the conferences, 
So, um, yeah, that'd be cool. Yes. That'd be fun. Um, I, I, all the conferences are pretty fun to watch usually. Some of them are pretty slow sometimes. Yeah. Like yeah. the EA is kind of, um, but Sony, Sony, get into Sony. I think hopefully, um, Uncharted 4. Uncharted, I'm sure will be, there'll, there'll be a new trailer or something. I don't think they're very far into that game. I don't think so either. I think um, it'll be obviously while. they announced it just to make people feel okay with the fact that they bought a $400 system. You yeah. Know? I, I don't have a PS4. I don't either. I, I'd like one. I, they look sweet. But yeah, the Uncharted... Did, did you see the trailer? It, they announced, I haven't. They, I they an, think I did. They announced Uncharted 4, and it wasn't, you know, anything. It was basically... It was like this camera panning over a map, and then, like, it showed... There was, like, a guy talking. I forget <laughs> what he said. But it wasn't important. No. And then it just said Uncharted. Basically, I've, you know, there know. will be yeah. Uncharted on the PS4. Well, hopefully they'll, they'll talk about it. Um, um yeah. Fallout I don't know. 4, maybe. It could be Fallout 4. Um... I feel like they would show Fallout 4 at um, Sony's exciting. conference. Maybe not. But Bethesda doesn't have their own conference. Oh, yeah. So they would show it at either Microsoft or Sony's conference. Oh, that's right, because that's not, that's not PS3 or PS4 exclusive. exclusive no, either. those aren't exclusive <clears throat> games. Um, they're good games. I like the Fallout. Yeah. But I feel like Fallout, Skyrim was 2011. I think so. I think. And they haven't really, they've been silent ever since. So I feel yeah. like, and they have registered the trademark for Fallout 4. Of course, those games take years to beat. So oh yeah, I don't think and years to make. I mean, in any hurry. you know how long. Yeah, like, that's why it's so riddled with bugs. Because I mean, yeah. if they, if they got all the bugs out, like it would literally never come out. Yeah. The games would never come out. But yeah, Fallout Four. I feel like if they're gonna show that at this E3, it'll be at Sony's conference. I, not, I would think so because that's the audience. Like nothing against you know Microsoft fans, but the Microsoft audience yeah. overall is shooters. You know. Call of Duty, Halo. Yeah. Um, and Fallout 4 is more of a Sony. Probably also... Um, more for the audience of Sony. Far Cry 4, too. Oh, Far Cry 4, That's yeah. exclusive. Um, Ubisoft has their own conference, though. Is that Ubisoft? That's Ubisoft. Okay. So, yeah, I'm excited about hear more Far Cry about 4 a lot, but hear more about that. But, yeah, Far Cry, uh, Ubisoft has its own conference, so they might show it at Sony or Microsoft. Yeah. You know, like like I said, in the real, like the minute and a half yeah. real of just third party games coming to these consoles, but they'll touch heavily on it on the, the Ubisoft conference. I'm trying to think of other like maybe a new God of War. Maybe Sony Santa Monica is working on something. Ascension came out two thousand year two thirteen maybe maybe I don't know. I was excited about Ascension. I, it wasn't very good. I really? did, I never played it. I saw. That I heard. It looked okay. I heard it was okay, but it wasn't like. Yeah. It wasn't like God of War three scale. No, you know what I mean? It wasn't. Was awesome. It was kind of like an extra game. Yeah. Nothing against it. I mean, I haven't played it, so I can't make an honest assessment. I don't know. Maybe I thought that was going to be their last one, but I'd, that'd be cool if Could, they. I mean, they I did don't like a God of War five. Or it would have to four. be like God of War with a tagline yeah you know or it, it'd have to be like a prequel or something because well, ascension was a prequel i think so maybe yeah, I, don't know, yeah. I don't know what the story was but maybe i don't know there's like a part two or something to that i don't know well yeah it could be what i'm saying is though like yeah like ascension two or something yeah. what i'm saying is though like god of war three spoilers you kill all the gods right <laughs> so you can't make god of war four yeah there's really not unless it was called god of war four to sell co- to sell copies and it was just a prequel yeah it would have to be a tagline, I would think, but maybe not. Or like one of those types of games where it's like from another character's perspective. Oh, or yeah, something. that'd be cool. That would play be as cool. like a, I don't know. Yeah. Play as a Ares <laughs> in the first game. Yeah. You, you kill yeah. Ares. And spoilers again, <laughs> if you haven't played the God of War games. Um, But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of things that they haven't really announced you know what i mean yeah like things Um, that we haven't seen for a while because if we haven't seen it for two or three years it's kind of a safe bet yeah that we'll see Hmm. i think uh sony is gonna focus heavily on indies yeah i i think so too that's been um yeah they last year they had a pretty like 15 or 20 minutes they spent on talking about indies so i think they're gonna focus pretty heavily on indies Yeah, i wouldn't be surprised um i don't know what else trying that jrpgs so i mean they're a japanese company so they always focus pretty heavy on not pretty heavy but they always show jrpgs i thought i heard something about microsoft uh, doesn't like a crash bandicoot thing or something there was 
it might have like just an been HD like thing maybe oh yeah like a collection i'm not sure a collection would be cool <laughs> yeah the problem with crash is like it would be cool if they came out with like a playstation exclusive crash but i don't know how good it'd be honestly yeah uh Depends i don't who i don't think naughty dog would make it. it i don't think it's it's it would be weird for naughty dog to you know they started with crash obviously mm-hmm. the crash trilogy the only good crash games <laughs> yeah uh were the naughty dog games but it'd be kind of weird to see them go from like this dark, gritty, like violent game like yeah, The Last yeah, of yeah. Us, and then go back to Crash. That's a good I, point. I don't know how it would work. Um, but Activision owns Crash, and I don't think Activision would do that. Yeah, they I might. Like they might. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There was a uh, when the PS4 was like announced. There was like a commercial they made with like all these. Um, there was a commercial they made with all these, like all their mascots. You know, they had you know Kratos and yeah. Nathan Drake and. All these people, all these games that were on the, and it was like live action, like it was a fun little trailer just to show the PS4 has all these games, um, and they had um, it was it was like a everyone went crazy because there was like a road sign and it had crash and then like a like uh, arrow pointing down and then under it it was the original PlayStation symbol. Oh yeah. So everyone thought crash is coming back to Maybe PlayStation. Maybe that's what I what, what I'm thinking of. I don't know. I I. But um, I don't know how I feel about Crash coming back to Sony. Yeah, I don't know. Because it's like there's been like the three original games were so good, but obviously they made so much just garbage yeah, so many after junk that. Games after it was, yeah. just yeah, just horrible Crash games. Activision just and you know more power to them because people bought them. They made money. Yeah, but um, it would just kind of be weird to have him be horrible for so long and then come back. Yeah, just, it would be. Yeah, I don't know how it would work. And I don't like I said I don't think Naughty Dog would make it. Everyone, but that's that's the thing too. Um, Naughty Dog is working on a unannounced game. Uh, yeah, I heard that. Um, Apparently, that's that's exciting. They'll probably be. That's, an yeah, they. It's not for it, them. I guess it could be Last of Us Two, but I doubt it. I yeah, I don't think we'd get Last of Us Two this early. Yeah, that's there's true. gonna be Last of Us Two eventually. That'd be amazing. But they're also putting Last of Us on PS4. It's called like the oh, yeah. super like ultra version or something. It probably has all the like, and it's the DLC HD. And yeah, stuff. it probably all the DLC and it's HD. Yeah. Um, I didn't play the story DLC. I wanted to. It was it looks, called like it Left cool. Behind. I wanted to play the uh, um, the online multiplayer because oh, like, yeah? I heard it was like like really good, especially if you if you're not into like online multiplayer. Yeah, I mean, I but you have to have um like a code for it or something. Oh, or something. do you? Yeah. yeah, that's lame. <clears throat> I don't know. I I don't like online uh, multiplayer, but I'd try it. I guess. Yeah. Um, what about Infamous? You think Infamous? That's think, yeah. I'm trying. I'm just trying to think of Killzone is a big uh, property for them, big IP. But there hasn't been much from. There was a Killzone for the PS4 launch. Oh really? So there's been Killzone within the last year or two. Yeah, it was called Killzone Shadowfall. I think it was okay, but it was a launch game. That's what Wait, Killzone what? does a lot. It's kind of a launch game. I was thinking of. Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say, man. There's something. But yeah, Infamous. There was a new Infamous on PS4, Infamous Second Son. Yeah. But I think it's key to note the Vita. You know. Yeah, there's probably going to be some stuff about the Vita's PSP. not selling well, so they haven't been putting too much stuff on the Vita. But they're always trying to bring stuff out that will move, will sell Vitas. You know. I think there's going to be something um, Star Wars related. Yeah. Um, EA last year, Electronic Arts, they announced. Battlefront last year, oh, yeah? Battlefront, and oh, it was just—it cool. was like they had just like two months before E3 obtained the rights to Star Wars, so it was just like these ships like shooting each other, and you heard like the, <laughs> and then like you saw like an ad at's foot, and like oh, that's, that was and it cool. said Battlefront cool. is one of these things like we're making it, so I feel like um we're not at EA yet, but I feel like for EA, yeah, that's one of my predictions. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. We'll we'll hear more about Battlefront. It'll be kind of like Battlefield, but with Star Wars, I yeah. think. Because the EA also makes Battlefield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I, uh, Infamous, I feel like they'll they'll do something with Infamous on Vita. Yeah, that'd be... I don't know, I haven't... That, sounds, that makes sense. I feel like, I like either that. they'll do a new Infamous for Vita, which would be rad, or they'll just put the first two games on, yeah. on Vita, you know what I mean? Would, like a collection. Would, certainly helps sales. That's what... It's kind of sad. The Vita is not selling well, and that's what it's, like, boiling down to, like collections like you'll get god of war one and two on the vita and then indie games yeah it's kind of sad they're not there's not much there was like at the beginning of the vita's life like uncharted like a new uncharted yeah and then there's a god of war i think was there new yeah 
Maybe. Pretty sure there was. Yeah, there might be. I don't know. Unless that was just for the other one. Might have been there for the PSP. One. Yeah. But I don't know. Could be. Um. Yeah, let's get into uh, Nintendo. Nintendo. I love right. Nintendo. Um. Very excited for Nintendo um, conference. You, you have any uh, predictions Um. start off? Well... I do want to mention, I don't know if if you heard this yet, but there was um an announcement about the new uh Ruby and Sapphire remakes. Oh yeah. They announced um Is it Me- Mega Swampert. Oh, Mega Swamp. Oh, Me- uh, they're Mega- doing Mega in Mega Skeptile. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. They're doing Megas. See, um with that's the, really the cool. thing is um there's speculation that um well not necessarily speculation, but I think it's kind of obvious that the free Torchic was sort of a mm. um oh yeah mega blaziken already sort of foreshadowing yeah mm. so yeah i like mega blaziken a lot yeah um, he's one of my cool. go-to yeah he's, he's a good one my go-to pokemon raised um, him there's been a lot of like crappy leaked you know like yeah like what they're gonna show at the show and there's a million of them out there um but something interested to me and this is one of those outlandish predictions that's probably not true but um I saw a leaked um, list out there on, on the internet somewhere, on Twitter or something, and it said that for the 3DS, they're making Castlevania Symphony of the Night 2, Ooh. which would be insane. Ooh. That, that's, it's, it's crazy. Obviously, the original Symphony of the mm-hmm. Night PlayStation 1, yeah. so <laughs> it would be crazy if we got a direct sequel to that and it was a Nintendo exclusive. It does sound kind of far-fetched, but that would be pretty sweet. Well, yeah. I mean, all the games that were similar to... Uh, Symphony of the Night. All the, there were three that were like like Harmony of Dissonance and Aria of Sorrow. Yeah, Aria of like, Sorrow. Yeah, and they were all Game Boy Advance mm-hmm. uh, exclusives. So it could be that that would be, uh, that would be pretty sweet. And then after that, like Castlevania recently has just pretty in, been pretty much a God of War. Clone. Yeah, um, they've been doing a lot with Sony like Lords of and Shadow. The last Lords of Shadow, I, th- I think, did pretty pretty poorly. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. it was good. The first one was okay, I think, but this new one, I don't think was. Yeah was good but yeah it's it's weird because it's not like castlevania you know what i mean yeah it is kind of weird the original castlevanias i mean were you know like just platformers pretty much and then they came out and they did like we say metroidvania as a genre now oh yeah because like uh, symphony of the night was pretty much like super metroid but castlevania yeah which is awesome and then that's what aria of sorrow and the that's why we call it metroidvania because it's like that it's weird we call it metroidvania but there's only like one or two Metroid games like that, and like two or three yeah. Castlevania games like that. You know yeah. what I mean? I guess those were the first games to really do that. Though. I guess so. Yeah, like Super Metroid, Super Metroid like classic. You know, it's Speaking just it's just one big map. Yeah, we haven't seen Metroid I don't for think, a while. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, last time we saw Metroid was Other M on the Wii. Yeah, that, I didn't that play didn't do it. Too great, I heard. I heard it was lackluster. Yeah, a um, lackluster. Yeah, lackluster. Um, but yeah, I I predict. Maybe a little something, something about a new Metroid. Hopefully, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, if there was a new Metroid, we were—I was talking about the Metroidvania type games like Super Metroid and Symphony of the Night. Um, would you want like Metroid Prime, like a Wii U first-person shooter, or would you want like 3DS, a new Metroidvania? I type think a Metroid? 3DS Metroid would be. Cool. Yeah, that would be awesome. It's been forever since that'd we've be had exciting. like a like a uh, Super Metroid type yeah. game. The last one was on the Game Boy Advance. It was like Metroid Fusion. That was the last. I didn't, even, I didn't even play that. I played a little bit, but I didn't play it through. Um, but yeah, that, that would be, be so yeah, good. Be cool. I would love that so much. Um, but I mean, new Metroid Prime. I mean, Metroid Prime would be really pretty on the Wii U. Yeah, you know, yeah HD like first person shooter. That'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty, but I I think I'd rather want a 3DS one. I think so. Yeah. Because I don't know the the Metroid Prime games are yeah when, yeah. I'm trying to. Um, What's another franchise? I feel like um, they're they're gonna talk more about Zelda. Yeah, Zelda definitely. Zelda's coming out. They they that they've and, um, said they're talking Hyrule about Zelda. Warriors. That's Hyrule not Warriors yet. is a weird, but you know, Tecmo Koi. I think it might be cool. It might be okay, but um, it's not gonna be like Zelda. I've never played any of the, like the uh, Tecmo Koi games. Like that's what they make. Like I played the Gundam Warriors. Oh yeah, that was kind of fun. Yeah, I don't know. I've never played any of them, but they're. Like people don't speak highly of them. Yeah, there's so. not a lot of rave about those, I guess. But yeah, you know. but I don't know. It could be fun. We'll see. Maybe. Um, it's not canon. It's not Zelda canon. Yes, that's that's the thing. It's not. Um, Smash Bros is going to be a big. Definitely Smash Bros. I'm hoping there's going to be a, an announcement of release date at least for. Oh the 3DS. yeah, I feel like we're getting a release date. I think so. Um, they've said 3DS is summer and Wii U is. 
Wii U wait, is winter yeah. of this year. Um, I feel, I feel like the 3DS version is coming out this year, and I hope. Like, I pray to God mm-hmm. that the Wii U version is getting released this year. I hope so, yeah. But I feel like they're going to come out and delay it. I, I really, they delayed the last ones, like, so I know. Times. I really... It, it pains me to say that, but I feel like they're going to come out and delay it. Um, which, you know, delays are good, but they suck. Yeah. Delays I mean, are good because, like, you know, it, you come out and if you delay a game, that means it's just going to get better. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. They're certainly putting a lot of uh, attention to detail in this. Oh, yeah. Like, new. it's finally, like, first HD Smash Bros. Yeah. I'm going to get the uh, 3DS one. Are you going to get the 3DS one? I think I or will, yeah. the Wii U one? Uh, I- I think I'm going to get both. Probably, um, yeah. And it's, I'm, I'm glad they're coming out so far apart. I'm going to get the 3DS one and just, like, get that little itch, scratch yeah, my yeah, itch, yeah. you know, and then get the Wii U one, and it'll be just full out I don't, smash. I don't, I don't want them to announce all the characters, though. That's the thing. Like, I hope they don't. Yeah, I well, feel like we're two or three, maybe four or five characters yeah. at E3. That'd be cool, though. I hope. Yeah. I mean, There's the last, the they gave us a Smash Bros. Ike's confirmed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you say we just got yeah. Ike? I thought you said I hope we got <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad Ike's back. He was one of my main... I like Ike. Uh, what characters do you want back? That's a good question. Or new characters. I know they're not focusing on clones, but, um, I mean, I, I know they're getting, like, you know, no clones, that, like, that type of thing, but I, I really like Dr. Mario. Oh, yeah. Saying. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be cool if they made Dr. Mario a, uh, skin, because they're doing a lot more... At least, yeah, at least They're doing skin. a lot more skins this, this time. Yeah. Um... Who's um, I, I, I really want Wario back. Wario. I feel like Wario's inevitable. I, I, yeah. Wario's coming. Um, I want Captain Falcon back. I hope I, they... Yeah, I really hope they put Captain Falcon in it because he's a classic. He's the last tie to F-Zero, too. And the yeah. last of... That's, that, that could be interesting. Be, yeah. Do you think they'll come out with a new maybe F-Zero? Maybe a new F-Zero? I feel like maybe a year or two down the road because Kart just came out. You know, oh, yeah, I feel yeah. like they don't want to release... Not too much racing. Too, too much racing. Mario Kart 8 is phenomenal i love it so much i'd like to like to borrow that ah, it's very good um mm-hmm. well <laughs> you can borrow it uh when i get super mario 3d World back. <sighs> okay but yeah it's very good um mario kart 8 is very good yeah um but yeah that would be crazy that last uh f-zero was uh gamecube i think really yeah, so, that's yeah pretty, it's, it's been i had one for Game Boy advance and, yeah, yeah like there's there's four or five f-zero games but i hope <laughs> I feel like if Captain Falcon's not in this new game or someone from F Zero, then that just kind of gets rid of all the ties to yeah, F Zero. Definitely. Like they're not doing anything with that in yeah. the foreseeable future. Um, um maybe some more Capcom characters. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know like what else. Um everyone wants everyone wants Pac Man, which I think would kinda of be lame. I don't know about Pac Man. He could work, I guess. Um you'd have to do the Pac Man with the legs and the arms, which is the lame Pac Man in my yeah. opinion. You know, um, I, I just don't feel like he'd have any like worthwhile moves. Yeah, I don't Not know, like punching set. and kicking. Yeah. It, obviously, the final smash, I think. Would yeah, be, I mean that's would be incredible. He'd be a good trophy if you could. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. But if you could, if they could, I don't really want Pac Man, but if they could do where Pac Man's final smash is like everyone turns blue <laughs> and like he like you control him and he could just go around the screen and try yeah, to yeah, that'd eat be them. great. That'd be awesome. That'd be pretty cool um that'd be a really good final smash yeah but I don't, i'm trying to think of some more like nintendo characters that you just like don't see coming i'd you like I mean? i'd like maybe some more like i know they just uh, they have greninja and charizard mm, greninja. but maybe some more pokemon some interesting pokemon yeah a At lot least of people mewtwo. want mewtwo yeah, back i liked mewtwo. yeah um mewtwo would be cool i i'd rather have like mewtwo than like lucario i i think lucario is weird because he's kind of a standard pokemon and i don't understand why yeah He's, I don't really understand why they put Greninja in there. I mean, I guess he's, he's a cool, starter, but, but I guess they're getting rid of maybe it's just they're getting rid of Pokemon Trainer, so they're just putting two or three starters yeah. instead. I oh, yeah, that's cool. I guess it's it's all right. Yeah. Um. Interesting. Um. Interesting side note: Ness is not confirmed. <clears throat> oh yeah. So I'd like I'd like I to want see him Ness back. back. I like Earthbound. I like I I oh I did hear that they're gonna do a new Earthbound. Did you hear about Dude. that? That would a be, Wii U Earthbound? That would be crazy. I heard about that. And I mean, um, the Wii U uh, Earthbound was just released on the Wii U Virtual Console. Yeah. It's like... And it, it that's like that's like a big deal because it wasn't on the Wii Virtual Console. And, like, they didn't do anything with it on GameCube. So it's, like, literally the first way to, like, <laughs> legally play that game in, like, 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Obviously, you could yeah, get I ROM. Played, uh, yeah, I played... Yeah, I got a ROM of it. Yeah. Um, um, that'd, be, that'd be cool. Maybe something about that at E3. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I'd like um, 
A if new, there was a new threat, that would be crazy. A new console Pokemon game, that would be cool. Oh, right? yeah, that'd be cool. Something like, um, I liked the uh, old Pokemon games. Stadium. Was, yeah, was Stadium good. on GameCube and, like, DX or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know what else, like, what other franchises do they have? They have a lot. I mean, <sighs> hmm. It, maybe a new Star Fox. Yeah, I How think sweet, like, we haven't heard much from Star An Fox. HD Star Fox. Yeah, last Star Fox, um, last time he poked his head, reared his head was... Early 3DS. It was the 3DS. It was a launch game, I think, but it was a, it was just a remake. Yeah. It was the N64 game on so the 3DS. That, that'd be cool. Which is cool, but it's not, like, a new Star Fox would be sweet. Yeah. Um, I don't know, like, Nintendo, I feel like maybe this is kind of out there, Galaxy 3. Hmm. That would be great. It would be. HD. Like, Mario Galaxy is such a pretty game on the Wii, and the Wii is, like, has such a limited software. It's such a pretty game on the Wii. Just imagine it. At, least a, at least a remake for, for Wii U would be cool, you know, like an HD. Yeah, yeah, that like the first be. two games, uh, up Yeah. That'd be cool. But I feel like every two or three years, like, Nintendo, especially with the Wii U now, they're hurting so much. Mm-hmm. Every two, th- two or three years, they come, they come out, and they just, like, every franchise they have, yeah. like... Should do um, like a, a Doki Doki Panic remake or something. Oh like yeah, that. nice. That'd be cool. <laughs> every yeah, every few years they just come out in like every franchise they have because there was like I think Skyward Sword, Other M, and Galaxy Two were announced at the same E3. Oh yeah, like that's you know that's Mario, Zelda, Metroid. Yeah. Like, so I feel like this might be the year E3 we get like new Zelda announcement, Galaxy Three. You know, that'd be fantastic. New Metroid. Yeah. Yeah, I I really want a Metroid on the 3DS. We were talking about that earlier, yeah, but like, yeah, yeah, I, a Prime would be nice. But oh man, a new a new Metroidvania. I mean, awesome, 3- yeah. Oh man, I would go crazy. What if they um, this would be crazy. You know, we always say Metroidvania as the genre. Mm-hmm. What if they did a crossover? <laughs> it's like Metroid. It's literally called Metroidvania. Yeah, I it's mean, like a Metroid. Samus Van- has like a little whip, I guess. Or yeah, be too. It's, yeah, that's true. Too a Metroid yeah. Castlevania crossover. <laughs> Just throw in some bats and some some witch heads, <laughs> some medusas, <laughs> some medusas. You gotta stab a Dracula. That'd be fantastic. That'd be cool. That'd I be would fun. like that. Um, I guess we'll move into third parties now. All right. Um, we were talking about Battlefront. Battlefront. I want I want more Battlefront news. I mean, um, yeah, that'd be cool. I feel like there there's sh- there's gonna be at least some if it's uh, emphasis on Star Wars. You know, we've yeah, got Star yeah. Wars Seven. Especially yeah, especially with Star Wars Seven coming out. That's a good point. Um, some, some maybe thing. another Star Wars game announced. A lot of the times they release two or three Star Wars games, but Battlefront, I want more out of anything. Um, maybe more Arkham Knight. Yeah, I was, I was about to say a little more Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight just got delayed. I heard, um, which is too bad. But like I said, delays make a game better. Mm-hmm. Um, it kind of peeves me a little bit. I feel like games keep getting delayed because publishers announce them way too early. That's, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, they, they have been announced. Like, they're like, oh, Arkham early. Knight. And it's like, well, you know, you knew Arkham Knight wasn't coming out until 2016. Yeah. Don't tell me about it until 2015, you know? I know. Like, I, I like it when a game kind of comes as a surprise. Mm-hmm. And these early announcements, it's just... I'm getting too anxious about Smash Bros. Yeah, now. exactly. Smash Bros. I've known about since, like, yeah, 2011. <laughs> <laughs> I love Smash Bros, dude. Um... What else does the like Far Cry Four? Far I'm excited Cry. about. There's the two new Assassin's Creeds coming out. Yeah. Um. It's it's interesting how they're doing it instead of like a next gen and a current gen version of the new Assassin's Creed. They're doing two completely different games. So <laughs> like Assassin's Creed Unity, I think, is the new one for PS4 and Xbox One, and I forget the name of the other one. But there's like a completely different game coming out for. PS3 and Xbox. That's cool. It's kind of smart because if people have both the consoles and they're big Assassin's Creed fans, they'll buy both games. I'm thinking they might do something with Assassin's Creed for the PS Vita. Go back to that. Oh yeah, know? that'd be cool. There was one yeah. like Revelations or something. I don't know if that one did that great. I I, I would. I don't think I'd buy a Vita, but I would definitely play the crap out of a Vita yeah, if yeah. I got one. Like the Vita's cool. Yeah. Um. It's it's got weird stuff though. Like the back of it is like a control. The back. It has like a touch screen on it. Oh, really? Yeah. It, it's, I don't know if I've... I don't know. The Vita's not doing well. It's yeah. Doing, it, it might be doing worse than the Wii U, which is not... That's pretty bad. The Wii U's doing horrible. <laughs> I love the Wii U, but it's doing really bad. Yeah. It's um, kind of surprising, I think. It's kind of surprising. I don't know. To me, the Wii U is... It's interesting, but it kind of seems like, you know, when before a company announces their new console... 
like you hear all these rumors you know what i mean like yeah. outlandish stuff it kind of seems like one of those like you'd be reading on the internet and it's like nintendo's new console the controller is an ipad it's like what <laughs> yeah. and then that it actually was yeah. um but yeah third party i don't know what else there really is um mirror's edge 2 did Ooh. you ever play the uh, yeah. original mirror's edge yeah ea like they did a little trailer yeah i remember yeah yeah mirror's edge that. is awesome yeah. but they announced mirror's edge 2 that would last be cool. year That's, which was yeah I thought, was that multi or multi console i thought that was an exclusive uh, I think it's on everything. That's cool, yeah. I'm not sure. Like, everything, I mean, Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. Yeah. Um, Mirror's Edge 2 might be next-gen only. Might be current-gen. We don't I, I wouldn't be surprised. Might but, be yeah. both. It, it won't just be current-gen. Like, that's a fact. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. That, that, that's cool, though. Yeah, I liked Mirror's Edge. Yeah, Mirror's Sort Edge of a cult awesome. classic, I think. Yeah, it is. Like, everyone's wanted... That, um, like, Heavenly Sword, those two games kind of... Oh, yeah, Heavenly... I never played Heavenly Sword. I, yeah, I, it I've was heard pretty of it. fun. Is I it good? Thought, yeah. It's kind of like a God of War, like, action adventure, sort of, in it. Yeah. That's cool. I don't know. I never played uh, Heavenly Sword. It's a throwback, I, I yeah. think. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, Mirror's Edge 2 would be sweet. I don't know what else there really is. I know think. there's pr- there's probably, like, some sort of a racing game in the works, because I've seen a lot about they're really working on, the like, the technology behind... Um, like the physics of, of like racing the engine and stuff and yeah. yeah and like and like like crashes and all that and i know there's, oh, yeah. there's something in the works but i don't know like i don't know i don't anything really specific i don't like it's fine for people that like it i don't yeah, really I don't, care about racing games but i feel like that's probably gonna be but yeah i mean ea mentioned. is gonna come out they're gonna show mirror's edge 2 and they're gonna show a bunch of sports games yeah, you know sports, what i mean yeah. they're gonna bring out like they're gonna bring out someone famous you know <laughs> they always bring out famous people yeah but you know uh, you know ea is i don't i don't care too much for their press conference they'll come out and they'll show battlefront uh, that'll be cool yeah. as long as they show battlefront and mirrors edge too <laughs> you got me yeah i don't know they'll probably have a few more surprises um kingdom hearts 3 ah uh, yeah it yeah. was announced at last year's e3 i don't know that we'll hear too much about it but maybe a trailer or something yeah uh fallout 4 fallout 4 hopefully the thing about fallout 4 is um We'll probably hear about that during Microsoft or Sony's press conference. I think it'll, it'll be because a while, Because Bethesda though. doesn't do their own conference. Yeah. Um, it's weird. The only third parties that do their own conferences are, like, um, EA, Ubisoft. It's not many uh, third parties that yeah. do their own conferences. Um, oh, man. I just had something. forgot what it was. <laughs> but, yeah, Fallout 4 would be insane. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, Rockstar. Mm-hmm. Rockstar doesn't usually make too big of a deal about E3. They don't usually go, but you know, Grand Theft Auto Five just came out. Yeah, um, they've got to be working on something else. Like a new it's bully. Not, it's not GTA Six. Oh man, a, a bully, bully two would be, would be cool. insane. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they could do it honestly, uh, especially now. I yeah, that's what they it, could. The, like the first game when it came out was so controversial, yeah. and it came out in like 2006 or something. Like nowadays, it, like. The the world's changed so much. I mean, they get away with it with with um, yeah, they get Grand away with Auto, but, but but I kind of bully. always thought that um, it's kind of a theory I have. Bully is um, bully is a prequel to Grand Theft yeah. Auto because he's like a troubled youth, yeah, and he's like stealing bikes and stuff, and then he grows up and he steals cars. That makes sense. Know? Yeah, it's kind of a prequel. <laughs> Could be. That'd be cool if they made a Grand Theft Auto like six or whatever yeah and like the main character was well, the yeah character. It, like it's like jimmy hopkins that'd be awesome um but yeah there's so much like stuff they could do bully 2 would be sweet but mm-hmm. like red dead i heard know? there was a if red yeah, dead came back i think, oh, I think man. it might i feel like i heard something about that that'd be pretty cool yeah red dead uh it's weird um everyone's saying red dead 2 red dead redemption 2 mm-hmm. but like red dead was a sequel they had a really, like, it wasn't a popular game, but they had a game before that called, like, Red Dead Revengeance or something. Oh, yeah? It was, like, on the PS2. But, yeah, like, Red Dead's kind of a sequel. I don't know. What else does Manhunt? Manhunt isn't isn't a big franchise for them. Manhunt. It's, um, it's a game they did on the PS2 and, like, Xbox, the original Xbox. And it's, like, really controversial for being, like, super violent. Hmm. It's, like, controversial because, I mean, obviously games are super violent. But, like, it's controversial because the deaths look really realistic. <laughs> like, you can take a plastic bag and, like, put it over someone's head, you know? It's cool. So it was really controversial. And there was a Manhunt 2, mm. but Manhunt 3, I don't know. Hmm. I'm just trying to 
think of things they could announce. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else. I think people would get I'm excited. Sure, I'm sure they uh, they might have one of those like surprise games, something we won't we won't yeah, see yeah. coming. Maybe. Oh yeah, there's always stuff like what? Yeah. Um, I guess Metal Gear Solid Five. Oh yeah, yeah, Metal. That's Gear. coming out sometime. So I yeah. guess we'll hear more about probably Metal Gear Five. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So excited for you. Be a good week. Monday, yeah. Um, I don't really third parties. I don't really know too much. Yeah, I can't think of what else. There's always be. surprises, like you know, like last year they South Park: The Stick of Truth. Yeah. Ubisoft put that out, so yeah. they might put something else out like that. I don't know. I like to see something more with like you know DC, DC. Oh game, yeah. You know. Like I yeah, that's true. Like I like the, the Batman Ar- game just did so well. I like the Arkham I enjoyed, games a lot. I enjoyed um injustice but you know that's just yeah that's limited because it's just a fighter i played injustice for a little bit and yeah just fighter i don't yeah. they, they i could see another injustice but, i mean superheroes are getting popular oh yeah know, definitely the they're bigger than they've ever been i would say so, yeah but yeah i i think like the arkham games are sweet i'd like to see like more just more dc games yeah not Batman. Defi- yeah definitely more, like like if they there's like open world arkham if they just did like or open world Gotham. Yeah. If they just did like open world Metropolis. Yeah, that'd be great. And you could fly around that'd like Superman. Awesome. It's kind of like Superman 64, but not uh, horrible. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the thing about Superman is just he's unbeatable. So it'd, it'd mm, be, I true. mean, it would unless be fun. Uh, it'd certainly be fun. Yeah, unless you're dark side. Yeah, well. <laughs> but still, I mean. Yeah, but I mean, even still, three days he rose back. It'd be cool. Or like a Green Lantern open world game. Oh, yeah, Green Lantern would be cool. Green Lantern is kind of... I love the Green Lantern comics, but he's hard to present in like a video game format. Because the, yeah, cool yeah. the cool thing about Green Lantern is that he can make anything out of mm-hmm. his ring. And with a game, you can't you can't let yeah. someone do anything. That's yeah, like true. You can't let someone make anything. You know what I mean? Because how would that work? Like, yeah. Like you have like a <laughs> like a headphone and like you say what you want to make. That'd be cool. I mean... Yeah, I don't know I don't think do it. it'd be practical, but yeah. I'm sure they, they there's like they could do something that limited. Yeah, I feel like we'll hear more like an arsenal of things you can make. Oh yeah, but I don't know. Um, cool. The Evil Within. Have you heard about the Evil Within? What is that? It's a new survival horror game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it's a, um it's from the guy that made Resident Evil, like yeah, all the I Resident Evil games. That. I don't. He's Japanese. I don't know his name, but yeah, he made all the Resident Evil games. So that'd be cool. Yeah. Maybe um, something. Who makes? Who made the Dead Space games? They're working on something. I don't know who made them. Oh, a new Dead Space would be sweet. I think they're working. I don't know if they're working on a. They're they're doing I don't know, something. Who are they? In the survival horror genre, but could I don't, be. There's I don't new aliens who ma- coming who out. Them. Yeah. Obviously, Aliens, Colonel Marines, one of the worst games ever. <laughs> um, I didn't play it, but it's not held in high regard. But this new Aliens looks good. Um, so new mm. Aliens. I don't know. Probably some new Lego stuff. New yeah, Lego I wouldn't games. be surprised. I mean, Lego games are always a fun time. But yeah, nothing, nothing to write home about. <laughs> but they're always a fun time. I don't really know any. Uh, I'd know. like to see a Mario football, but I don't think that's ever Mario gonna, football. I don't think that's ever going to happen. See, yeah, the thing about that is, I don't think that'll happen ever because there's not enough uh, interest. Yeah, you know because. Like I mean, football is just an American thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like all the all the sports that they do, baseball. You know, that's you know, that's uh international. You know, um, I don't know what uh, what other sports they have. Soccer. Soccer. Soccer is big international. A new strikers charge. That'd be cool. It would be cool. That last one was we. I don't know. I'm at least a new Mario sports. I, I haven't done much with that. I guess last one was recent. Mario golf. Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Technically. Yeah, I guess that's kind of a sport. Um, but yeah, Mar- I think there's going to be um, a Mario, Mario Golf, golf in the, the works for 3DS. There's a, a what? New, there's a new Mario Golf in the works for 3DS. It's already out. Oh, okay. Mario Golf, it came out in May. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, I was playing the demo, but I liked it a lot. Um, yeah. I like That's Mario cool. Golf World Tour. Mario Golf, fun fun game. Oh, yeah, I like Mario Golf, and I've never been... I don't like sports games. But yeah. Mario, I mean, Mario, Mario sports does it for cool, me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially uh, Peach. Oh, yeah. Love some Peach. <laughs> Um, I don't know. We could wrap this up or play a game, play a game. We could play a game. <laughs> I mean, it's a games episode. So what I was thinking now, yeah, that's true. It is a games episode. Um, yeah. You want to play a game? We could. All right. You give us a little music for that. Certainly. And then if you think of anything else about games, just say it. I don't, you know, we've moved on, but you can say it. <laughs> Um, 
All right. <laughs> uh, what game are we playing, Noah? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Um, make it or break it. I feel like we should give that one a break because we yeah. played it two ga- two uh, episodes in a we row. We have. I like that game, but um, um lots of good uh, t- two truths and a lie. I guess is a pretty good one. It's a good one. But yeah. I don't know. We've played that a lot too. I don't, I don't know. Let's see if I have anything saved. Oh yeah, you have any notes? notes? I could look up something. Yeah. I don't know. I get a text from Paige Campbell. Do you? Um, let's hear about it. It says, yeah. Oh yeah. That was when I asked you. Oh, am I, uh, inside? If you were inside. <laughs> yeah. It's a good text. Um, I worked Classic hard on it. Classic text. I put a lot of effort into that. Text. I'm going to, I'm going to save that text. Never get rid of it. Okay. I have, um, see, I, I just upgraded to the iPhone 4S, Very I went, nice. at, which is not the newest iPhone, but I went from a flip phone. So it's yeah. kind of like pretty big. Jump. It's kind of like the jump from like sepia to color movies. Yeah. <laughs> you know i'll get there one day um but yeah it's it's one of these things like the texting is just like a chat yeah so i don't save texts anymore um i get more into uh my apps <laughs> i've got some pretty good apps i do like apps i made a vine oh is that right yeah i like vine um yeah you see my vine we should make a vine you want to do a page campbell show vine we could yeah we should <laughs> let's do it all right um if anybody's listening to this check out vine check out um, vine what's your uh, name Paige campbell um I, it's connected to my twitter so i think it's Paige campbell but like uncle page maybe okay i'm not sure but um, yeah a page campbell show vine coming coming at you i don't know i've made one vine you, you should like check it out hold it's, it up or something it's pretty comedic the two of us yeah do you have any ideas for the for this vine we got it we got to do something. We got to break new ground here yeah. on the Page Campbell show. Something that Vine has never seen before. <laughs> um, something revolutionary. Revolutionary. Uh, it's six seconds. Can can you make history in six seconds? I think so. I, uh, you I know. think so. Some people make some pretty crazy vines. Like I've yeah. never. I like uh, Chris D'Elia. Uh, he's on funny. Vine. He's a funny vine. I like Bo Burnham on Bo Vine. Burnham. Um, there aren't that many vine or viners I really care about. Some of them get old. I always I, I frequent the the comedy um yeah. section, but you know, oh, some of them are so bad. Some of them just get obnoxious. I'm getting a deluge of Snapchats from mm-hmm. Andrew and Shadi. Is that so? Let's see what we got. Um, A. G. Wilson, fourteen. Give him a follow. Oh man, he saw a turtle. Oh, I Somewhere. love turtles. Wish you guys could see this. Uh, it's a turtle on the side of uh, a tree. We could make a phone call. Oh, yeah. You want to call someone? Well, we, we could. Um, I only have a few games in my notes. Yeah. We've played Make It or Break It. Make It or Break It's classic. I'm, I, we could play that again. I don't we know. haven't played 20 Questions. I don't know. Oh, how 20 Questions. exciting that would be. I mean, With I two people. Could. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we could do 20 Questions. I'm open to that. Um, I'm open to that. How about Would You Rather? And do a would you rather? Um. Oh, would you rather? Is a good one. Do you want to just do like? A, did you just make a vine, or do you want to? I snap. I'm snapchatting you to Shaddy. Okay. Um. You should get Shaddy on the show. I'd like. Um, I'd like him. Not too he shabby. Asked me if I got a new phone, and I've been snapchatting him, so I think it's kind of obvious. He likes Snapchat. He does like Snapchat. Uh, what did you, you you have Snapchat, Noah? I do. What's your score? <laughs> um. Probably not that high. Probably not that I, I my score is like twenty or something, um, but yeah, I like I like Snapchat. Um, yeah, you wanna? My score is sixty three. You wanna um play twenty questions? We could, yeah. I like the prospects of that, and right. then we can figure out this Vine yeah thing later. Do a Vine if you if you have a quality idea. We'll do it right now. The Paige Campbell show Vine. Or we could or do it. We could just film ourselves us recording. playing just, you know. Yeah. Just to give the listeners a... We could act like... Here's what we'll A do. visual taste. A visual taste <coughs> of the Paige Campbell show. Um, act like we're still talking about E3. <laughs> okay? And it'll be in the recording. Are you going to, like, side or, or I'll get you or, and then right, yeah. have me a little bit. All right. What, what, uh, just so act like you're talking about E3 still. E3. I'm really excited about um, E3 next week. Hopefully, some more about um, yeah, uh, Symphony of the Night Two would be Bros. crazy. Yeah, Symphony, and then we'll get just to tie it all together. Oh, perfect! A little thing of all that. Perfect. <laughs> Let me see this. Really excited about 
It's pretty good. It's a pretty good Vine. <laughs> Um, you can, you can see that on Vine. Look me up, Paige Campbell. There's probably a lot of, uh, Paige Campbells in the world, women, mm-hmm. not men, but you could try to find me Yeah, on Vine. I'm on Vine <coughs> sometimes, not often. Um, I have two posts. Follow well, me on Vine too. No, two. Um, Do you have, you have a Vine? I haven't made a Vine lately. Oh uh, yeah, your Vines are great. I have made I a I love few. Noah's Vines. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, follow Noah if you, if you need a good laugh, a good chuckle. Um, follow no on Vine. Give him a follow. <laughs> Paige Campbell show. Inside look. That's what we'll call it. Nice. It's an exclusive look. If you've ever wanted to see what we look like, now you know on Vine. All right. So, twenty questions. Twenty questions. Whoa! I don't like that. <laughs> let me get um. Let me just do another introduction for us. Oh, yeah. Twenty questions. Twenty, twenty questions. Here goes. Um, do you want me to start or do you want? I guess one of us um thinks of a a noun, a person, place, or a thing. Right. The other. Um, thinks about it, maybe what it might be. Asks some questions. The goal is uh to to get it in twenty questions. Right. Yeah. Hence and if name. you don't, you lose. Mm-hmm. You're a loser. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. And if you can get it below, you can't win. I'm not going to sugarcoat yeah, it. You can't a, win everything no. in life. You know. It's true, but you can gamble. you can lose everything. You can lose everything. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a very good point. All right. Um, okay. You want to start or you want me to start? Do you want me to, one of us, I guess, uh, you want to think of something? Think of, all right, I will. I will all think right. of something. Tell me when you're, uh, ready. <laughs> Two. All right. Okay. I've got a good one. 20 questions. Got a good one. Okay. Um, is it living? Um, technically no. Technically no. Not like a person or an animal, but. But. Possibly. It was possibly. once living. Once living. Okay. Is it, um, blue? <laughs> I'm bad at It's not blue. Not blue. So we've got two. Two questions so far. I'll keep track. Um, is it large? Um, not not immense. Not it's not colossal. It fits in your hand. So fits in our, your hand. Okay. Um, I like the music. <laughs> that that's helpful. It's a little background. No, yeah, I like it. It's like uh, Jeopardy. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Is it? Um. It's not a human or an animal. Okay. Uh-huh. Once living. We're at two. I think. We're at three. Two, I think. Two three. I've asked. Is oh, it yeah, living? Is it, blue, is it blue or is it large? Is it large? Um, is it um small? <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's in your hand, if it's in your hand, okay. They can be small. They can be big. Relative to um, what you're what you're looking for, I guess. Mm, okay. I don't want to give too much information. Um, is it flaky? It yes, it can be it, flaky. It can be flaky <laughs> on the inside. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about this one, Noah. Um, is it uh, veiny? No, it's not veiny. <laughs> okay, that narrows it down for me. Well, no, it's not veiny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, that's six? Okay, fourteen to go. I don't know how how well I'm doing. Um, is it topical? Has it been in the news recently? Not to my knowledge. Okay. Um, not. I'd watch news about it. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> if um, if anybody would report about it, but uh, you know, okay. keep that in mind. Is it edible? Yes. It is edible. It is. Okay. That's uh. Hmm. 
is it um is it tasty it's edible but is it like tasty i think it's tasty okay yeah i guess that's a preference um is it like sweet or is it like savory it is sweet it's sweet okay so is it a dessert of some kind it's not a dessert it's not mm. that's a that's 11 if you're keeping count I've got nine to go or I lose. Um, is it filling? Yes. Like, will it fill you up? Because um, I'm guessing it's a food of some sort. It's, um, I think it's, it's somewhat filling. It's a good side. Okay. Is it a food? Yes. Okay. That's 13. We All got right. seven to go. I'm um, keep count. I'm not, <laughs> not short changing you. It's like, that's nine after, <laughs> after I do one. <laughs> Um, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cheat. Um, is it like, um, whole or is it like, uh, like kind of liquid, you know what I mean? Like it's food, but is it like a, it's soft, soft. but it's not a liquid. Okay. So uh, it's a solid sort of, I don't know what that would be called. Um, is it... Hmm. Does it come in any specific packaging? Or is it like food that you make? No, I don't um no packaging uh, specifically, no. Okay. So you make it at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. I just squeeze two questions out. Fifteen. <laughs> um Hmm. Not a dessert. Hmm. Did you eat it in New Orleans? No. No. I don't I don't think I did. Um 16. Um do you eat it on a regular basis? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I mean you could, I don't. You could, right. Okay. But um That's fair. Yeah. Dang it. This <laughs> is a tough one. And it, it's it's You're good at this game, Noah. Yeah, thank you. Nah, I forget what I was going to say. I've got... I'm at 17. Three more questions. And then I have to make a guess. Is it, um... Messy? Is it messy? It can be. It depends on, um... What you do with it. What you, uh... Put on it. Mm. Maybe. Okay. Um... Do you eat it for breakfast? Probably not, no. Okay. Do you eat it for lunch slash dinner? Because that's kind of similar <laughs> meals. Yeah. Um, yeah. I more so dinner, I would say. More so dinner. Okay. Is it a um a uh, dinner roll? No. No. Dang it. <laughs> um, because that was twenty, so I had to make my guess. So I lose. Um, now you can tell me what it was. It was a sweet potato. A cheese, Louise. <laughs> that's a good one. Sweet potato. How am I gonna guess that? <laughs> I like that. That was a very good. Uh, no, you're good at that game. Thank you, thank you. I'd like to play that game with more people. Yeah. When we have more people. Be good. Yeah, be good. You know, go around the room. Yeah, yeah. Asking questions. Everyone gets twenty thing. questions, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. Is that how it works? I don't know. Is it twenty between no, no, like yeah, the two or know. three of people? Maybe like one of those like like a conferring group, sort of the group versus the the. Uh, Man versus society. Yeah, that type of thing. <laughs> that type of uh, frame. <clears throat> frame uh, I don't know what I'm thinking of. Um, do you want me to go? Yeah. Okay. We can. We can. Let me think of something. Got to make it good. How are we as far as time? I mean, uh, we're at an hour. It's good. Solid. Yeah. When do you need to leave? It's seven. Whenever my brother is finished with whatever he's doing. Okay. Currently. I mean, if if we finish up here, and uh. He's not here. We can go to my house. That'd be great. I'd be open Hang to on. that. Play a little Mario Kart. Play a little MK8. Love my Mario Kart. <laughs> you should play it. You should go out and buy it. Support the Wii U. They've got a, uh, you know, they've got a um, bundle. If you don't have a mm -hmm. Wii U, you mm -hmm. do have a Wii U. I do. But um, if you don't have a Wii U, they've got a Mario Kart 8 bundle. You can go out. You get Mario Kart. You get a wheel. You get a Wii U with the gamepad. Um. And also, they've got the uh, deal going until like June or July twenty yeah, third. Before the deal, so you get the game, 
So you get two games. What more can you want? You get a wheel. Life? You get a Wii remote. You get a uh, Wii U with the gamepad. It's backwards compatible. You can get rid of your Wii. <laughs> you can play all your old Wii games. Um, Just transfer that data. Transfer that data. Um, it's worthwhile. It is. It's a, it's a quality console. I think it's great. I, I really don't know why uh, there's so much. It's a tough sell. Yeah. You know, like, it doesn't look good if you haven't played it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then you play it, and it's it's actually mm-hmm. comfortable. I, I was like, honestly uncertain until I did play yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I was not sure how the gamepad would feel, yeah. but it's it's comfortable. It's a comfortable controller. It, it, did bl- it blew my mind, I'll be honest. All right. 20 questions. Right. Um, Got to think of one. I still can't believe a sweet potato. <laughs> I'm very impressed. That's that's solid, Noah. Thank you. I don't know where it came from, but you know, because it's sweet, but it's not a dessert. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. What what the heck yeah. is he talking about? It's complex. Dinner roll. What was I thinking? <laughs> it's I guess close actually. Well, yeah. They're, I mean, they're sort of the same. They're kind of sweet. You know, they've got. They both have a crust. Yeah. And they both sort of have similar insides, I guess. Yeah. You can dress them up. All right. With butter. Dress them up with butter, salt. Um, I'm stalling here. <laughs> well, I'm trying to think of one. Um, okay, I think I've got one. All right. Leave me alone. Hmm. Is it? Uh, is it living? It is living. Is it a person? It is a person. Is it a proper noun, like a proper... Proper, yes. Specific person. Is it a male? Uh, yes, male. Is what, it... How, what, how many are we at? I wasn't counting. Shoot. Was that four? I think it was four. So you living, person, proper... Male. Male. Four. Okay. Is this person a non-fictional character or a fictional... Is it a fictional character? Um, no. Real okay. person. Is this person white? Um, I guess. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Kind it's, of white. It's, it's uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to say to that. It's light, like, uh, light skinned or dark? Yeah, I mean like white, but like that's not hmm. their race. I, I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> okay. Is this person, um, Asian? Yes. Of Asian descent? Yes. Does this person work in the video game industry? Uh, yes. Is this person working on Super Smash Bros? Uh, no. Is this person a founder of a series of video games or a video game character? Yes. Did this person create Mario? Uh, yes. <laughs> is it uh, Shigeru Miyamoto? It is. Ah, uh, yeah. Dang it. That was That was not a good one. It was, it was decent. It was decent. I, I think I you got like 12 in, yeah. 12 questions before. Yeah, I didn't know what to say to white because like Asian, <laughs> like they're white, but like certainly their not, race uh, is not yeah. Caucasian, you know. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for the Paige Campbell Show episode five. The first episode of the summer. It is the first episode of the summer. Many more to come. First episode in a while. Yeah, many more to come. Um, we're going to try to have some more cutting edge guests. <laughs> uh, next week, I'm going to Heroes Con. I'm going to try to get a guest there. That'd be fantastic. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish you could come to that, Noah. I wish I could. That'd be, that'd be a good time. But yeah, I'm going to try to get some comic uh, creator, either a artist or a writer. Yeah. So I'm going to try to get someone there. Um, maybe tune in. I don't know. Um, thanks for listening. Be sure to keep the conversation going on Twitter. Uh, I'm at Uncle Page. Noah? Um, at Noah Aiden 42 Nice. Um, yeah. Uh, like the video. Subscribe. And uh, tell your friends.